This video describes how to use Mobio's 6-Minute Mini and Standard Mini Plasmid Prep Kits to isolate high-quality plasmid DNA. Grow your plasmid culture to a typical density of A600 equal to 2.0 or higher. If you are using the 6-Minute Kit, prepare up to 2 mils of culture. For the Standard Plasmid Kit, prepare up to 5 mils of culture. Each plasmid prep will require a set of two 2 mil collection tubes and one spin filter unit. Add a maximum of 2 mils of culture to the first tube in each set and centrifuge at 16,000 times G for one minute. Decant the supernatant by inverting the tube and pouring into a waste container. If you are using the 6 minute kit, continue with the next step of the protocol. If you are using the standard kit, add up to 2 mils of the remaining culture to the pellet and repeat the steps of the centrifugation and decanting. Once all of the culture has been pelleted, centrifuge for 5 seconds at 16,000 times G to remove all traces of liquid from the sides of the tube. Remove all visible liquid with a narrow pipette tip. Removing all liquid at this step is critical. Using a small bore pipette tip helps remove all traces of liquid media. Next, we will add solution 1 to the bacterial pellets to resuspend the cells. Resuspend the bacterial pellet by bump vortexing with the vortex set at the highest speed. Bump vortexing means hold the tube tip on the vortex head for 10 seconds, take it off for 1 second, then hold it on the vortex again. Confirm that all the cells are resuspended by holding the tube up to the light and looking for cell clumps. Continue vortexing until all cells are completely resuspended. Next, we will add solution 2 to the cell suspension to lyse the bacterial cells. Gently invert the tubes up to eight times to mix. Do not vortex at this step. Next, we will add solution three to neutralize the pH of the cell lysate. Invert eight times to mix and centrifuge the tubes at 16,000 times G for one minute to pellet the cell debris. You should now see clear, non-viscous supernatant on top of a large white pellet stuck to the sides of the tube. Transfer all of the clear liquid supernatant to a spin filter, avoiding the white precipitate. Centrifuge the spin filters for 30 seconds at 10,000 times G. Remove the filter basket from the collection tube, discard the flow through, and replace the filter basket in the collection tube. Now, we will add solution 4 to the spin filter to wash the membrane and centrifuge at 16,000 times G for 30 seconds. Discard flow through liquid from the 2 mil collection tube and centrifuge again for 30 seconds to dry the membrane. We are now ready to elute the plasma DNA. Be careful not to splash liquid on the filter basket. Place the spin filter basket in a new 2 mil collection tube, add solution 5 or sterile water directly in the middle of the white spin filter membrane and centrifuge at 10,000 times G for 30 seconds. You may now discard the spin filter basket. The DNA in the 2 mil collection tube is ready for use in downstream applications.